Are you prepared for retirement? It's never too late or too early to start saving and taking control of your financial future. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at how much money you should have saved at each stage of your life. From your 20s to your 60s, we'll guide you through what a financial expert would say is the ideal amount to have saved at each age. So whether you're just starting out or you're well into your career, make sure to join us and find out how you can secure a comfortable retirement. Let's get started. Welcome to Budget Boosters, where we make finance simple and easy to understand. Our goal is to provide you with easy finance tips to help you improve your financial future. Whether you're interested in personal finance, investing, or just wanted to learn more about money, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Let's work together to boost your budget and take control of your financial future. At age 20, it's important to focus on avoiding debt and setting yourself up for financial stability in the long term. While it may not seem like a priority to have a lot of money saved at this age, it's crucial to make smart financial decisions to avoid financial stress later on. When it comes to college, consider attending a school within your budget and working part-time to help offset the cost of tuition. It's easy to fall into the trap of spending carelessly while in college, but it's important to resist this urge and focus on keeping your expenses low. This means avoiding big purchases like a brand new car, which can come with long-term payments that will last for years. Instead, opt for a more affordable mode of transportation or consider sharing a car with someone. When it comes to housing, consider staying with family or renting a more budget-friendly place to keep your living costs low. Additionally, consider opening a retirement account like a Roth IRA. You don't need a lot of money to start even investing just $50 or $100 can help you gain valuable experience as an investor. By age 25, it's ideal to have about half of one year's income set aside for retirement. For example, if you earn $40,000 per year, your goal should be to have $20,000 saved for retirement. While this can be a challenge, especially if you have student loans to pay off for other expenses like rent and a car to cover, it's important to prioritize saving as much as you can. If you can, try to keep your expenses as low as possible so that you can allocate more of your income towards your long-term financial goals. Remember, building financial stability takes time, and it's important to be patient and disciplined in your approach. Don't get discouraged if you're not where you want it to be at this stage in your life. Just focus on making small, incremental progress towards your goals, and you'll eventually get there. By the time you reach 30, you should aim to have saved up an entire year's worth of your income and investments. For example, if your yearly income is $40,000, you should aim to have $40,000 saved up. This might not be a priority for many people at this age who might be more focused on paying off loans, purchasing a home, or starting a family. But it's important to remember to allocate at least 10% of your income towards investments even as you make these important life decisions. By age 35, you should strive to have two times your annual income saved up. So, for an annual income of $40,000, you should aim to have $80,000 saved. While it's easy to get caught up in trying to keep up with friends and purchasing big ticket items like a new car or home, it's crucial to keep your housing and living expenses low to achieve the savings goal. Remember, the earlier you start saving, the more time you have to build up your investments and the better off you'll be in the long run. At age 40, the financial goal is to have around five times your annual income saved for retirement. For someone earning $40,000 a year, this means they should aim to have approximately $200,000 in savings. Those who have been consistently investing for the past decade or two should find this target achievable, while those who may have started later will find it more challenging. However, it's important to remember that it's never too late to start saving and make up for lost time. During this stage of life, it's crucial to resist the temptation to keep up with others by upgrading your home and buying brand new cars. Instead, focus on keeping your living expenses low and prioritizing your retirement savings. If you are behind, now is the time to make a commitment to saving and sticking to a budget. 
By the time you reach the age of 50, the goal is to have about 10 times your annual income saved for retirement. For someone earning $50,000 a year, this means they should aim to have around $500,000 in savings. While this may seem like a daunting target, it's important to remember the power of compound interest. If you have $500,000 invested in the S&P 500, it would grow an average of $50,000 each year. This, along with the fact that your income is likely at its career high, makes it easier to make significant progress towards your financial goals. It's also important to remember that every little bit helps, so even if you are unable to save the full recommended amount, it's still beneficial to save what you can. The key is to be consistent and make saving for retirement a priority in your budget. As you approach the typical retirement age of 60, it is recommended to have around 20 times your income saved. For example, if your income is $50,000, you should aim to have $1 million in savings and investments. With compound interest on your side, this target is achievable. Once you reach this savings goal, you can make adjustments or even stop investing altogether if you're on track. By age 65, the typical retirement age, you should aim to have 25 times your annual income saved. If you plan on living on $50,000 per year, you should aim to have $1,250,000 saved. This amount allows you to safely withdraw 4% of your portfolio every year without relying on other income streams. It is recommended to invest 15% of your income for retirement. Starting early in your career is one of the best moves you can make. Even starting with just 5% of your income is better than nothing. As you earn more and become better at cutting expenses, you can increase your savings percentage. These figures are just a guideline, and most people do not have these amounts saved. If you're young, your priority should be making small moves that will add up over time, such as investing 5% or 10% of your income. Keep in mind that these figures are based on a 4% annual withdrawal rate during retirement, and some people may choose to withdraw more or less. Decide on the right withdrawal rate for you and adjust your savings accordingly. If you plan on retiring before age 65, you may need to adjust your savings targets. Minimizing expenses can help you reach your savings goals faster. Consider tax obligations when planning for retirement, as different account types have different tax implications. Consider the impact of Social Security and taxes on your retirement income, as well. Remember these figures are just ideal scenarios for someone who wants to retire at a typical retirement age. If you're behind, don't worry about the amount you should have saved. Focus on starting to save, no matter how small the amount may be, and you will make progress over time. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or wanted to learn more about finance, leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more simple finance tips.